Hello and welcome. This is EDC with Oaken and Kane. I am Oaken. And I'm Kane. And this is a sleeping kitty. Um, <laughs> and uh, welcome to the living room. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, little, uh, don't wake the kitty, uh, a, a little pocket dump for you guys. Um, we've gotten a bunch of new stuff uh, coming through the living room, so we wanted a chance to show you guys. And uh, yeah. We're going to start with getting some of the boring stuff out of the way. Uh, some of the stuff that does not typically change as much. Um, what do you got? I have for the wallet. I went back to the Johnson Murphy just today because I needed a slim wallet for work. I have been carrying for the last re week the Giltec Raw, which has been a very cool wallet in aluminum. Also for the chapstick, I obviously have to have some Carmex and the mint. And for the pin have the Sharpie S gel 0.5 in blue. Very nice, very nice. I've got the classic dweeble uh, leather bifold, the Burt's Bees in vanilla bean, the pocket pen with the blue insert, and then the uh, keys which just has the house key on it, the Rovivon and the Griffin Pocket Tool in copper. Also forgot for my light, had the Ravac, yep. There you go, you can barely see it there. Just a little LED light. Uh, nice and shiny, good for little things I need to do at work where I don't want a huge spill, um, but just enough light to get things done um, in a darker situation. Clips on the pocket nicely, looks nice. Um, so yeah, that was in the pocket today. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, clear this out of the way. And what else? Uh, so starting things off for me, had the Freedom Hanks. Um, this is the little bit smaller size. I think it's like a seven by seven. We we'll get the rug out of the way. Um, so I, I had that. We'll also use that as our backdrop. I've had that on me. It's uh, always great. I am visually impaired, so it's always great to uh, wipe off the phone or glasses um, and or, or anything else, or knives, believe it or not. Um, so, uh, first two, I'll just do these together. Uh, but the Ruck, the <clears throat> infamous uh, brass-assed copper topper with the brass bottom and copper top there and then have a little bead there that is copper as well and to go with that is the beaver blade works custom uh, copper victorinox um, which i picked the tool set out the electrician blade cap lifter screwdriver saw and scissors right there I actually didn't carry this for the full day but I want to get out the brass ruck just to see it beside this copper top ruck look at that pair oh what a beautiful pair what a beautiful pair mm. what I did carry today brand new Benchmade mini bug out this has the flitanium brass scales has the coated S30 V blade there you see um, and this was actually done by um, Bolts and Bites who I think is on Instagram as well as Reddit does tons of knives for Benchmade swap scales writ dies them can customize them gets them just drop shut action perfectly centered um, no blade play just really does well with those it's just drop shut like a dream so really love those scales I think I might end up changing out the thumb stud for the brass as well since Flytanium makes that I vote, I vote do it. I do vote it. do it. Yeah, That's yeah, my yeah. thumb. <laughs> so, gonna possibly do that coming up soon. But so far, really like that guy. And uh, for me, and the ProTech Malibu, I mean, really, really have been loving this guy. It is a just truly a, a home run from ProTech. Really, really, really like this guy. Uh, can't can't go wrong with this guy as well as they will be coming back in stock pretty soon I'm hoping uh, so you guys can have a chance to snag one as well um, I'll pop you right there 
since I didn't carry the ruck today, I actually carried the Leatherman Skeletal CX. This is the carbon fiber version. It has the pliers. As you can see here, worked nicely. Uh, the lanyard bottle opener um, also has, oh, let's show you here, where you can do the screwdriver. This is the Phillips head and then you can store the flat head right there. As you can see, it just slides in and out, which is nice. And of course the blade, which is 154 cm blade. So it's a nice little pocket tool. I usually carry this with me, keep it in the car. It's really nice to have, especially on trips or on vacation. Um, but this was a nice pairing today. Yeah, 154CM is a great upgrade from the normal um, 420HC that they do on a lot of theirs. Um, and then last for me um, was this, which is brand new to me. Um, I actually got this at Knifetoberfest, um, which uh, was held by Old Town Cutlery. And uh, just a really, really great event. It was a lot of fun, a lot of great stuff there. And I uh, got to, to meet a couple cool people so that was always uh, real nice but yeah snag this lion still thrill uh, which is a integral which uh, the, these scales are well this body of it I guess is aluminum and it also has this interesting clip system where you push up and then it just kind of ooh, recedes into the body there so uh, definitely uh, mitigating the chance of hot spots that's for sure uh, but yeah, really, really like this guy. Full review will be coming out on that pretty soon. Boop. But yeah. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, so that's uh, what we have been carrying uh, as of today. Uh, that will probably change tomorrow, considering uh, some, uh, some other goodies that have found their way over here. So guys, thanks for stopping by the living room, but time to go. Have a nice day.